computer hardware engineers research, design, develop, and test computer systems and components such as processors, circuit boards, memory devices, networks, and routers. Computer hardware engineers typically do the following. Design new computer hardware, creating schematics of computer equipment to be built. Test the computer hardware they design. Analyze the test results and modify the design as needed. Update existing computer equipment so that it will work with new software. Oversee the manufacturing process for computer hardware. Computer hardware engineers ensure that computer hardware components work together with the latest software. Therefore, hardware engineers often work with software developers. For example, the hardware and software for mobile phones and other devices frequently are developed at the same time. Work Environment Most hardware engineers work in labs where they test different types of computer models. Computer hardware engineers held about 66,200 jobs in 2020. The largest employers of computer hardware engineers were as follows. Computer Systems Design and Related Services 22% Semiconductor and other electronic component manufacturing 12%. Research and development in the physical, engineering, and life sciences 9%. Federal government 8%. Computer and peripheral equipment manufacturing 5%. How to become a computer hardware engineer? Most entry-level computer hardware engineers have a bachelor's degree in computer engineering, although a degree in electrical engineering or computer science also is generally acceptable. A computer engineering major is similar to a major in electrical engineering but with a heavy emphasis on computer science. Because hardware engineers commonly work with computer software systems, a familiarity with computer programming is usually expected. This background may be obtained through computer science courses. Some large firms or specialized jobs may require a master's degree in computer engineering. Some experienced engineers obtain a master's degree in business administration MBA. All engineers must continue their learning over the course of their careers in order to keep up with rapid advances in technology. The median annual wage for computer hardware engineers was $119,560 in May 2020. The median wage is the wage at which half the workers in an occupation earn more than that amount and half earned less. The lowest 10% earn less than $70,100, and the highest 10% earn more than $192,110. In May 2020, the median annual wages for computer hardware engineers in the top industries in which they worked were as follows. Computer and Peripheral Equipment Manufacturing $146,640 Research and Development in the Physical, Engineering, and Life Sciences $1,33,060 Federal Government $1,18,620 Semiconductor and other electronic component manufacturing 1,15,140. Computer systems design and related services 1,14,190. Most computer hardware engineers work full time. Job lookout. Employment of computer and information systems managers is projected to grow 11% from 2020 to 2030, faster than the average for all occupations. About 42,400 openings for computer and information systems managers are projected each year, on average, over the decade. Many of those openings are expected to result from the need to replace workers who transfer to different occupations or exit the labor force, such as to retire. Employment Demand for computer and information systems managers will grow as firms increasingly expand their operations to digital platforms. Computer and Information Systems Managers will be responsible for implementing these goals. Employment growth will result from the need to bolster cybersecurity in computer and information systems used by businesses. Industries such as retail trade will need to implement more robust security policies as cyber threats increase. An increase in the popularity of cloud computing may result in firms outsourcing services from in-house IT departments to cloud computing companies. This will shift IT services from IT departments in non-computer industries, such as financial firms or schools, 
to firms engaged in computer systems design and related services and those in data processing, hosting, and related services. Thank you for watching here you can know more industry updates. For regular updates subscribe this channel and press bell icon. Leave your opinion about this video by your question. Your question motivate us for next part. Be technical. Think technical.